garden. Hey guys, welcome back to Push the Prod. It's M here. Today we're gonna to be doing a day in the life as an application security engineer. And we're gonna add a little bit of a twist to it. And actually it's not even a twist, it's probably the new norm. I'm going to be using ChatGPT a lot to assist me throughout the day. Um, normally I don't really use ChatGPT due to its outdated data set. I'm sure this is gonna be updated soon. Um, but because of the things that I normally have to do, I need the most current information. And so that, that limitation kind of holds me back in most areas. But I'm going to use it in areas where I know it's going to excel in um, to just help me expedite my workflow. Also, I wanna give a disclaimer. When using ChatGPT, do not input personal data or sensitive data or your organization specific data. If someone's going through your chat, they shouldn't be able to see or determine where you work, what your position is, what tools you guys use specific to your organization. If anybody can determine any of those things, you're probably using it a little bit too relaxed or loosely, and your prompt should be a little bit more strict and regulated. And this is just a, a really big just in case. So just keep that in mind. I recommend using it on your personal device. That way you don't copy and paste things because that just increases the chances of you potentially adding something to the chat that is private. So just keep that in mind while you use it. With that out of the way, let's get into the day in life. So I haven't really been to an actual gym in a while, probably since the pandemic, uh, but I still try to work out at least three to four days a week. Um, my goal is five, but you know, as you can tell, I skip leg day. <laughs> Today my focus is mostly going to be threat modeling. I do have some scanning issues that I need to correct for a recent security scan I implemented into the pipeline, um, but right now priority is threat modeling. So I'm going to focus on information gathering, architecture reviews, um, as well as threat and attack drafting. So after all that reading, I decided to take a coffee break and enjoy the sun. I also use this time to catch up on some of the chats I may have missed.
after that smoothie I had for breakfast, I still wasn't hungry by the time lunch came around, so I decided to just use the time to go pick up some of the items I've been keeping at the dry cleaners for far too long. Hey guys, I wanted to take a second to just discuss what application security is and at a very high level. Actually, let's use an example. Since we're talking about ChatGPT a lot, ChatGPT recently had a vulnerability that allowed malicious actors to view your chat titles that you had privately with ChatGPT. This particularly was due to a vulnerable library that they were using in the code base. So that's where something like composition analysis could have helped to prevent that if it was a known issue in that library beforehand but that's not always the case. But anyway, application security aims to find those vulnerabilities and those issues within applications before they go out. It's not really humanly feasible to have found all the ways an application can be exploited. Uh, so it's a constant battle almost <laughs> to kind of find the ways an application can be exploited. So when I'm referring to application security, it's just introducing security practices to the software development lifecycle. And now when you're talking about DevSecOps, you're now talking about integrating that into the pipeline. So shifting further left, closer to the developer. So as soon as they commit code, for example, there's a lot of scans that can be run and those findings can be presented back to the developer immediately before the code could even be released. So it just helps fi finding and remediating vulnerabilities a lot sooner than rather finding it later and then it's added to a developer's backlog. Depending on the severity, they might not have, it might not be priority to remediate as soon as others. Everybody's goal is to be secure by design, but there's always something that humans will miss. And so that is the importance of application security. And this is not to be mistaken with red teaming or pen testing, because pen testing can be done for an application, but it could also be done for systems for the entire enterprise um, and just ways to kind of discover any weaknesses and take advantage of those weaknesses to get to a specific point. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Anyway, let's get back to work. What's up, Cardi? We're going back to work. You ready? Are you coming? I'll take that as a no. Hey guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for making it this far. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So I didn't really get to dive deep into application security and talk about a lot of the testing and analysis like DAS, SAS. We did talk about software composition analysis a little bit, um, but that just barely scratched the surface. So if you guys want more content on application security, make sure you let me know. If you have any questions at all, make sure you leave those in the comment section. But again, thank you for watching. Peace out. People coming in and out my life, they come and go. Yeah. If you do once, you do it twice.